Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is a video lecture tutorial for the project that is the Digital Media Class from Mr. Sackowitz. The project is the Funky Fast Food Fusion Activity. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our class website and take a look at the sample image for the Funky's Fast Food Fusion. And you're going to notice what we're going to do is we're going to fuse at least two different types of foods. So in this case, it is a cheeseburger popsicle. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take some elements, take a close look at what the popsicle looks like and the hamburger here. And we're going to go into Illustrator. We'll create a new image. We'll call it Funky Fast Food or Fast Food Fusion. And we'll use the web preset and we'll make it 12 8 by 800, that's a good size. And what we want to do is, in order to make that popsicle stick, let's start with that first. Very simply, we're going to use two ellipse tools. So press L for ellipse. And you could just create a small circle about that large. And then duplicate it. Hold down Alt, Shift, click, and come to about over there. Now create a rectangle tool. And not the rounded rectangle, the regular rectangle. There you go. And if you have guides on, you should be able to go right in the middle of the circle and right at the top middle. Click and hold and drag all the way across and down and you should get a perfect rectangle that fits your circles nicely. If you did that right, it should look something like this. Select everything. You can either shift click on all the objects or make a selection around them. And then you open up your Pathfinder. Hit Unite. And there you go, you have the basic shape for your popsicle stick. It almost looks like one of those tongue depressors, like in the uh, doctor's office. We're going to make that kind of like a tan, kind of a yellowish tan color, not stroke, fill. And kind of a color that would be like a popsicle stick color. That's a little too yellow. But we'll get there. Something along the lines of that. Not perfect, but not too bad. Once you're happy with that, size that down a little bit, and you can tilt it a little bit. All right, and then you're going to move that around. And what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate that. You can hold down Alt, Shift, and click, and just offset it a little bit. You're going to make a second copy of it. All right, so you have one and two. Make the top one, let's see, we want the top one a little bit lighter color than the dark one. So let's lighten this up just a little bit. So click on it and lighten it up just a bit. All right, maybe too much, but we can go back and change it if we need to. Then click and Shift, click on both objects. And if you have the Blend tool over here, you can use that. Otherwise, you can go to Object, Blend, Make. And you'll see the Blend immediately start to actually do something. It's blending those two objects. Now, you can actually add a stroke if you want to. All right, that might be too, too much. But we can change that if we go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and do the specified distance or steps. All right, we can change the objects there. All right, just give it some differences. Now, that's not perfect. It's just an idea I had, but you can make yours the way you like. As long as it gives some kind of depth or image, okay, like I sort of did there. All right, let's put that off to the side for now. We don't need that right now. And now let's think about what we're going to do for that hamburger or some other object. I am going to use the hamburger shape for mine. So I'm going to search on Google. Uh, let's do cheeseburger. Let's say cheeseburger, a cheeseburger popsicle stick. That was something else I was looking for earlier to get an idea. And I'm going to look for an idea of a cheeseburger. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Once you come up with something you like, and it doesn't have to be a cheeseburger, this is just my idea, I'm going to do a uh, snipping tool and bring that just that image into Illustrator. Now, we do not want to do image trace. we got to get out of the habit of doing that. We're going to learn the pen tool better today. So what you're going to do is just use this as a reference, and you're going to create your own idea and you can use shapes, you don't have to use the pen tool. I'm just giving you an idea. But you can actually create the bun and all the different elements using just the pen tool. Okay. So I just give you an idea. Now this would have been probably better with the ellipse, of course, but just for sake of showing you that you have options, I want to do that. Alright, so I'll come around there. And maybe for this I will do an ellipse, but different options for different parts. I'm going to start with this shape here and try to get that hamburger shape a little bit. Maybe it's not as dark. It's like a brown patty like that. 
All right, just to give you an idea of the basic, basic idea, and then I'll bring this in. Just a basic idea. This is not going to get you the grade you want. This is just showing you the basic, basic. All right, let's flip everything, arrange right in the front. Just an idea. Again, not great at all. All right, so there's my basic idea. Now, I'll take that and group that and kind of manipulate that a little bit. Put this on top. That is a basic, basic idea of what I was trying to get. But yours needs to look a lot, lot more detailed than that. So if this is my idea, I want you to kind of have fun with the idea of what these 3D shapes can look like. And you can create them with depth using the blend tool. Everything down here, very easy with the blend tool, just like I did for the popsicle stick. I just didn't take it as far with the actual hamburger image. That's very two-dimensional, very basic looking. This gives a little more depth. And yes, I'd like you to also include some gradient mesh in there, or a gradient. A gradient mesh would be perfect. All right, and we can get that with going to this area there. We need to make sure we're isolated before we can do a gradient mesh. All right, so we'll do that beforehand before we do the blend. And then you'd put your actual image on top and make either a popsicle out of it or a hybrid. You could put in a second. What I'm looking for ultimately is at least four different types of food fusion. So not one, not two, but four different types. And then you can lay them out on one page, just like so. And you will take a screenshot, and you will submit. So four different types of food fusion. So be four different types. All right, not four different colors of one, but four totally different types. Utilizing blend tool, utilizing the pen tool, and utilizing their gradient mesh with multiple colors. If you have any questions, as always, ask Mr. Sakowitz. Good luck and have fun.